How about John Klingberg? Uh, what's the prognosis, if you can tell us any more, and how much have we worried about his lingering issues when you signed him? Well, yeah, first of all, we didn't anticipate, you know, this wasn't something that we, you know, we we knew the player was injured and we went and signed him anyhow. Um, we knew the history of the player, but we, you know, he's, we didn't anticipate that there was going to be an issue. He got, he got injured, you know, sort of the event, if you would be, I think it was in the Florida game or it was on that first road trip. I think it was the first road trip, right? We went to Florida, Tampa. Um, and, and so it just, it hasn't, it hasn't improved. Um, so what John's doing now is we're going to, we're going to have, I hate to say it because in case you don't have it, but I, I, I anticipate we're going to have clarity this week. Um, he's, he's meeting with some doctors. We went through some, some meetings last week to see if this is a situation where there's a surgical inter intervention um, or, or not. Um, and so I would anticipate, what are we today, Monday? I would anticipate by, you know, by the end of the week, probably at the latest, we're going to have, I, I, I say that cautiously because you never know, but I, I, I'm, I'm anticipating by the end of the week, we're going to have a better idea of where, where John's at or, or what the prognosis would be. Um, but it's certainly, it's limited them. When we looked at bringing in John, obviously, you know, I said at the time he's coming off, you know, a year, a tough year in Anaheim. Um, when I looked at our defense here and looking at trying to, you know, some of the, some of the, at that time, some of the decisions we had to make, we had, we had Austin, we have Willie that, um, I mentioned that we had to, were priorities and, and, and making sure we, we gave ourselves flexibility to handle those contracts. We were looking to go short term. Um, John, we wanted to come in and help us moving pucks, generating some offense, um, helping us get out of our own end. Um, and like I said, injuries happen, and that's part of the that's part of the unfortunate part of the game. We'll see, you know, we'll see where he's at. Hopefully by the end of this week, and, and go from there. Is, right. is, how much, is he how Denver much bound right now? Sir, is he Denver bound? Denver. That's often where people go to get their hips looked at. Oh no, no, I think <laughs> Denver bound. Um, I think the doc he's dealing with is in New York. Okay. I believe so. He he had some consultations with with them over the course of last week. Um, and I believe he's he's gonna see the see the doctor in New York this week. But it is right. the hips? Excuse me? It it's is. a hip it's a hip issue, yeah. How much has Neilander start impacted, if at all, your talks with Lewis Gross? Well, I'm not gonna delve into you know, I think you guys will get to know me. I, I, I try to give you as much as I possibly can, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get into those discussions other than say nothing's changed in our end. We continue to you know, our desire and our hope at the end of the day is we're going to get Willie signed. And there's a process that you go through. Um, Willie's had a tremendous start to the year, but, you know, I, I think he's a, he's a, I don't think this is just a hot start. I think he's a really good player. And uh, I stated from day one here, uh, our, our objective was to get Austin signed. We got him signed. Our objective is to get Willie signed and we're working at it. So, um, you know, he's had a, he had a great start, great for him, great for us, but that doesn't change in any way. You know, we just continue to work away at it. Mm. Well, there's two things. There's standings, which is number one, and then how you're playing. And uh, I think from a manager's perspective, you're always looking at how you're playing. Um, to me, it's it's we've been we've been hit and miss. There's it's there's been some inconsistency in our game, right? Which um, is a little concerning. That at the area that we is an area that we'd like to clean up and, and improve upon is is you want to try to put that same game on the ice period after period game after game and I think you know the one encouraging sign is I think we've we've you know when you look at a lot of the data that we look at our, our defensive play and what we're giving up has gotten better uh, it needs to continue to get better um, but I think overall there's still there's still gaps in our consistency of how we played and that's that would be my through the first quarter of the season, um, that would probably be my overwhelming theme is we, we just got to become more consistent as a group. Is that part of uh, your job as manager, at least a part of it? You're, we hear the least involved in so many trade rumors at this point, but canvassing the league to see what players might be available to, to help this team? I think that's your job all the time is you're trying to help your team now. You know, the idea that you're always just going to trade yourself out of, out of issues isn't, isn't realistic. Um, you know, coming in here, obviously, we, 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 we did some things over the course of the summer. 
Um, some have gone well, some are, are a work in progress, some haven't gone as well. Um, so you take, a, you take a look at where you're at and you're always trying to find ways to help help the team. I got to learn, you know, part of this is learning the group we have. Um, but certainly, you know, you're always looking at ways to, to make yourself better and, and at what cost and, and all those types of things. So that's that's an everyday everyday part of the job for sure. How have you assessed the defense so far? Well, it's hard, right, Mark? You've had a lot of injuries, you know. Um, so I think I think what that does is it tests your depth. You know, we've got players playing, and I think they've given us good minutes that we've signed as depth players, and you see them playing into the teens a number of games already. Um, and it pushes people into different chairs, right? You know, you, 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 the whole idea of, to me, what you try to do as a team is slot people in the right circumstances so they're handling the right minutes. And when you have injuries, it pushes people um, you know, it was an area that we wanted to see if we could strengthen regardless. Now when you have injuries, it tests your depth. Um, like I said, you have people probably playing higher and more minutes than um, you want. Um, and they're hanging in there. But it's certainly an area um, we'd, like to, we'd like to help ourselves. Now, you know, when you're sitting here in November, that's it's not as easier said than done. But that's certainly an area that uh, we look at and see if there's a way that we can help ourselves. Thoughts on your goaltending? Probably the same as our team, Steve. You'd like to. I think there's. They, they can be more consistent. We've seen some real good games. We've seen some games that, uh, um, you know, they can be better. And there's some goals that have gone in that that uh, you'd like to have back. Now, I do think. You know, goaltending, can clean up a lot of messes for you, but you can also, you can clean up a lot of messes and make the goaltending look a little bit better. So I think there's a yin and a yang there. I think, you know. Obviously, this weekend didn't show up, but over the course of the last number of games, I'd say the last eight games, our defensive play and what we've given up um, has gone down. It's been better. We've been a little tighter. Um, and that makes the goalie's job easier. But, you know, like I said, I, I think I, I would put them in the same category as the rest of the group, and there, there can be some more consistent play.